maybe change the channel. Kaylee, you have direct personal experience there. Tell us your perspective. Yeah, I can tell you I went on Cuomo several times. I got neither questions nor answers. Instead, I got insulted constantly as a conservative and at the time as someone who was working for the president. But you're right, I, I did used to be at CNN. And I'll tell you this, um, that Rick Santorum is a good person. I worked with him. We crossed paths briefly. Uh, he was summarily dismissed by CNN, discarded conveniently after the election, and they found no, not, no more use for him. Uh, same with Jeffrey Lord, good person. I worked with him, was on many panels with him. He's discarded as soon as an election passes. But yet, yeah, Chris Cuomo, not discarded. Jeffrey Tubin not discarded. Tubin exposed himself on a Zoom call. He's mm -hmm. still employed by the network. Chris Cuomo, as brilliantly listed out by our colleague here, uh, basically threatened to throw someone down the stairs in that Fredo incident he had. Um, so this is unbelievable. It's one standard. If you're a conservative, you're a utility player, you're used and immediately discarded. They're just looking for a reason. And Kaylee, it seems like, too, if we put it into those political boxes, I mean, it's so clear, but there are plenty of other networks that have had investigations and real uh, legal and civil ramifications occur because of a lot of other allegations that we are also seeing there. So do you perceive at, at what point will these lines be crossed here and will CNN be sort of exposed in, in any way for the allegations circling around and, and for at least just a simple transparency and acknowledgement of it there, Kaylee. When reporters start asking questions, it looked buried, as I noted, at the bottom of that Washington Post article about these advisory calls that Chris Cuomo was doing is a line saying that he also advised on COVID at least once. Well, start asking questions. When was he advising on COVID? Was it when he was getting the free COVID test? Was it amid the nursing home scandal? We've got to start asking questions. And to Tommy's point, uh, stop watching CNN, but they don't have many viewers now. So I think a lot of people have already done that. <laughs> They're getting more coverage right now with us talking about it. Harris, final thought. <laughs>